Hi everyone, welcome to Color Shift Art by Tammy and to our Across the Globe collaboration. Six of us have come together to create a variety of split cup pours. We are all super excited and hope that you enjoy them all. My fellow artists are Sandra Sensations, Dana's Art in Motion, Moose Crazy's Flowing Canvas, Amethyst Moon Studios, and Therapeutic Creations. Please check out their videos. I will put all their links to their YouTube videos and channels in the description box below. Right, so in my split cup pour, I am using four colors. Rose Madder, Fluoro Pink, Navy Blue, and Gold. I do two layers of each color and take it from there. I chose these colors because I absolutely love the fluoro pink and I absolutely love the rose matter and I just thought the two of them together would be absolutely perfect and then I have done one of these before with gold so I thought I might as well just add gold as well and then a contrasting color navy blue which I just made with phthalo blue and I added a little bit of black to make it darker. I have laid my cup and it looks pretty cool and I am going to put down a base coat or a flow extender if you will of gold. I don't like using white because I find it often comes up through your paints. I don't know what it is but you, you get like these white bubble cell things. I really don't like it and I found that gold serves as a great flow extender. It is maybe it's because of metallic I don't know but it is my favorite to use as a flow extender. So now for the best part, the pouring. I was not holding the cup at the exact right angle, so not all the colors came out evenly together, but it doesn't really matter. It's fluid art. And while I'm pouring the paint out, I'm turning my canvas. The paint wasn't coming out in a very neat stream and it was a bit wobbly I couldn't really hold it very steady I've had some health issues so I was a little bit unstable um, or unsteady rather but I was still okay with it it creates some interesting effects and I just let it flow out the way it flowed out so some of it is great like here it's coming out and falling out pretty cool and then other times not so great but like I said, it, I wasn't too worried because, you know, with pouring, what happens, happens, and you can't always have control over that. So there I lost uh, my focus a little bit and I'm a little, I was a little bit upset about that. It definitely impacted the outcome of the painting. I was really disappointed, but there was nothing I could do about it. So I just go with it. A quick torch to get bubbles out. There were quite a lot of bubbles and then it is time to do some spinning it's really fun so I just tilted it a little bit because it's not a square canvas I didn't want it all to be to fly off on the narrower sides um, so I just tilted it a little bit and then it is time to spin Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do the spinning and not plaster myself full of paint. I don't have a very big working area. There was a lot of paint and I could tell that it was just going to fly everywhere. So I was just taking a minute to figure out how I was going to do this. Right, so here we go. I do a nice gentle spin to start off with just to get the 
paint to spread across the canvas and then I give it a nice good spin and get thoroughly sprayed with paint and my clothes are now completely covered with paint. It's a good thing they're my painting clothes because I've ruined a lot of good clothing as I'm sure so many of us have. So there I keep spinning and just watching as I go how much I need to spin and how fast or slow. It's a pretty cool process to go through. And I'm sorry about my dog yapping in the background. She's outside and she must have spotted a possum or something and they go crazy when they see that. Okay, so I found a lump of paint in my in the painting which was really annoying because it caused a bit of a ridge there or whatever it's called so my hope at this point is to spin it enough to get that to spin off and not be so obvious so now i'm going to give it a another gentle spin just to see what i need to do to get rid of that um area where the lump was and to cover that last corner where there's a bit of gold. Um, I wasn't sure if there was more paint in there. I think there was a little bit but I couldn't get it out and I didn't want to mess with it much more. So now that's a bit better and I got sprayed with paint again. But it was super fun. I had to clean the floor, I had to clean the carpet, I had to clean so much but it was so cool. And now you can see, unfortunately, one of my paintings, one of my colours, must have had lumps in it because you can see now there's a few areas that had lumps in it. But there's nothing I can do again. Once again, it's fluid art. It does what it does. It gives it some character. I'm still very annoyed with the centre of the painting where I went wobbly. So I'm taking a stick now and I'm just trying to give it a bit of a better and neater center. I am busy studying my painting at this point to see if I am happy with it or if I want to do any more spinning. It's quite important to sometimes just take a step back and study it and a lot of the times you will get an answer or some insights that you wouldn't normally get if you just decide you're finished. Clearly I decided to give it one more spin and I was quite happy with it. Very happy with the colours. Although I am kind of bummed that you don't see a lot of the navy blue. It kind of just disappeared off the edge of the canvas. There's a tiny bit in the centre but most of it disappeared. So I was a little bit disappointed about that but the painting is gorgeous. I really like it. And I hope you do too. Thank you so much for joining me and my team. I really hope that you go watch their videos too. Thanks to Sandra for organising this and making it possible by sending us each a split cup. That was pretty cool. And we all had a lot of fun creating our videos. So please give us thumbs ups and some comments. Support us. We really appreciate it and please stick around for a little bit longer. I have got a close-up video which really shows the shine of the paints and everything. Really, really pretty colours. I am really happy with it. On a final note, Sandra has a competition going. If you'd like to win your very own split cup, please check it out. Sandra will have more information on it on her video. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.